Okay, this is going to be hopefully a short series, I don't know how short, on why anybody who believes in preterism or disbelieves in a pre-trib rapture is completely spiritually retarded, and you really should avoid those people. Um, it's one thing to be, you know, in a state of flux about a doctrine, because a lot of doctrines are really big and they take a while to learn. But there are certain positions that mark a person as being so far, <clears throat> oh, how do you want to call it, in retrogression spiritually, that you ought to consider just, you know, ought to consider maybe cutting off your association with the person or greatly reduce it. And in order to show that, how marked this is, I'm going to take you on some very obvious passages in the Bible to show you that anybody who believes that the pre-raptured position is um, anti-biblical or not in the Bible is too retarded to read the Bible. Okay? And therefore, anything that they say is going to be tainted by this. They are in a perpetual state of carnality. Same thing is true for the King James only people who happen to be, a lot of them happen to be uh, believers in pre-trib rapture. Whatever you are carnal on that's a major doctrine in scripture, the minute you use 1 John 1 9 and then go back to believing that false doctrine, you're carnal again and you don't even know, so you're not growing, you're retrogressing. So this is a warning, a series of warning videos, okay? Hopefully it'll only be a few of them. We start in Genesis 17. Now, Abram, not yet Abraham, he's going to make a covenant and call him Avraham. Abram means father of high places. Avraham means father of many nations. See, that's why he says it right here. He's playing on it. Okay? The nations start through Abraham's kids. Abraham's kids, we all know are called the Jews. This is the promise. See? Your descendants after you. It is an everlasting possession for the descendants after you. Everlasting possession. The translation is, is good enough. I'm using the NASB here, but you can use pretty much any Bible you want. This is a promise to Abraham's kids. Okay? To Abraham's kids. And that's why he gives them this the circumcision rule. Alright? To Abraham's kids. Paul's going to follow up on this in Galatians 3 to show that circumcision isn't strictly through the flesh but through the heart. And in Romans 9 through 11, he explains that the Jews who don't believe in Christ the way Abraham did don't have circumcised hearts. So they get this part, you know, they get the physical promise, all right, while they're here, but after they're dead, they don't inherit the internal promise. Okay? And then God goes on, okay? He's saying he's going to establish it with Isaac. All right, that is a very obvious point. Hello, it says everlasting possession. It says descendants after you. The Jews have a future. Church does not replace Israel. Not now, not ever. So anybody holding to preterism is a believer in replacement theology and therefore anti-Semitic and he's carnal. End of story. So long as you believe in preterism or you believe that there's no such thing as pre-trib rapture, you are carnal. And therefore you are not growing spiritually and you're in a great deal of doo-doo. There are a few key doctrines that will set you back spiritually and keep you a baby all your life. Not believing in pre-trib rapture is one of them. And here's the obvious reason why. But there are many more passages than just this one. If this were the only passage, you could say, well, it takes time to learn, la-di-la. -la. Yeah, wait till we go through the other ones. This section, 
enough for the moment.